beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What you see in a couple of plastic chairs perched precariously on one another is entirely different than how someone else might see it. Maybe these shapes, this photo or this piece of driftwood catches your eye and it's all open to interpretation. Every viewer brings their own experience to the work. The work cries out for that and um, it can be very, very different from person to person. At the University of Victoria, close to 100 pieces of art are being assembled and hung. Students are busy installing their works for the annual Bachelor of Fine Arts grad exhibit. Each artist, I think, would come in the, f in the first year thinking that they kind of know a lot and um, you bring your vision and you just want to make it. But they learn that that is a long process. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of practice, it's a lot of discipline. For fourth year student Emma Palm, the process of her final project has been a journey in a direction she never expected. It's really just a way of, um, of keeping him close, one of many ways. Last June, her brother Eli committed suicide, and it couldn't have been more of a shock to the family. My brother was the best. He was a total golden boy, um, popular in school, um, worked really hard, had a lot of great friends, captained a bunch of sports teams. Um, he was also really quiet and thoughtful and reflective. Her project is called Eli, a series of five prints named for her brother. She scanned a few of his personal items and layered the scans on top of landscapes from family photos memories from when she and her brother were together. Everything touching the glass is in really sharp focus and then the focus falls away really quickly and it looks like they're kind of floating in space. And she has named each print for the holes she's left with. And the circles to me are portals into these um, memories or fragments of memories um, and those are often triggered by uh, the smell of these few things that I have left of him or the, the texture of his shirts. The project has allowed Emma to think, remember, and grieve for her brother, and for those emotions to take some kind of shape. And it's also a desire to, I think, make something beautiful or uh, something that means something out of these meaningless, um, tragic events. And she's also received a lot of support from other students. They came together for her. Um, and I was told that everyone was weeping in the, in the crit and that it was a very powerful experience. I get to tell more people about him through the project or, or not, or I can just let it sit quietly and know that it's um, inherent in the work that I'm doing. In Saanich, I'm Nikki Iwanishan.